Hi guys, welcome to Rotten Rebel. I'm here with Sandra Salmon Fragrance. Hi. Uh, today we are going to do something really exciting. So not long ago, I had the pleasure to visit Armand Jane in London. And Linda Pilkington, who is the creative director and founder of Armand Jane, guided me through uh, some of their uh, perfumes and the brand and shared some amazing stories and told me a lot of things about the brand, how they create the perfumes and all that. So, um, I'm back now and I have two boxes uh, which are filled with uh, Ormond Jane perfumes. So, in this video we are going to do a first impression and we actually have, wow, 14 different uh, perfumes from the Ormond Jane collection. I'm really excited about this. Yes. Uh, this is going to be fun. And the reason why I'm so excited is because I had the pleasure to try some of their perfumes when I was in their store and I was blown away by the quality uh, and the scents themselves. So this is going to be really exciting. Uh, so without further ado, let's get busy with these. So here's the box and when you open up the box, you have all the different samples inside and then you also have this card. Uh, which sort of describes the different notes uh, in each perfume. Uh, so yeah, let's just get busy yes. because this is all about the scents. And the first one is, um, what is it? Key. Okay. So this is part of the Four Coordinates of the Earth collection, which I learned when I was in London. Okay. Uh, so let's try it out. And I'm going to read out the notes. Mm, the whiff I get is so good. So the notes are uh, green, lemon, blossom, neroli and freesia at the top. And then we have tea notes. Oh my, the whiff. Yeah, <laughs> this is amazing. Uh, and I mean, it was the same wow. experience I had in the store. So when it she was. sprayed the testing strip yeah. and uh, did this motion, and I got away from it. I was always blown away. Yeah. So let's continue. Uh, at the heart, we have T notes, Osmanthus, Violet, Hedion, Rose, and then at the base or at the soul, uh, we have Mate, Benzoin, Musk, Moss, and Myrrh. Yeah, it's the it's it has citrus in the opening. Then comes the flowers, and then the benzoin kind of rounds it up in a and beautiful I can way. Clearly, feel the T notes. Actually, I. I don't know what the tea notes. Ah, but if you think uh, of tea, sometimes when you yeah ah uh, oh, yeah tea notes. Yeah, yeah. I thought you said like tea notes, uh, like ISO E super uh, tea notes. No, I, I never <laughs> heard about tea notes, but I have heard about tea notes. Yes, uh, and this is tea in a beautiful way. Yeah, yeah. So um, the thing with some sort of a less finer perfumes when they have tea in them, it really sort of a stinks tea. <laughs> and that's perfect if you if that's what you're after. But I'm sort of a, not allergic, but I don't I don't want my perfume to smell 100% like tea. No. If I want tea in it, I want it to be in like a fine perfume kind of style. Yeah. Uh, and this, I mean, this is I think this is beautiful. I really do. Yeah, this really is beautiful. And this is only the first one I'm trying out. Yeah. So my expectations are so high now because this was such a good beginning. This is going to be tough. We are going to give this uh, yeah. first one, which is key, a rating from one to 10. Uh, what are you going to give key? Wow, this is so hard, especially since it is the first one. But I think I'm going to go with eight. Eight? Yeah. Okay. Mm. Mm. This is tough. Uh, I think, yeah, I'm, I think you're right. It's, uh, uh, first of all, I believe most people are going to enjoy this one. Uh, so, I mean, this is definitely something that a lot of people would enjoy in me as well. Uh, yeah. I really like it. I'm going to give it eight or eight and a half. Uh, it might even, uh, I might even revise that later on. But yeah, this is yeah. a great start. Let's move on to the next one. Next up, we have Nawab of Oud. And uh, this is going to be uh, the second time I sniff it because I had the pleasure of uh, trying it out in the store. Okay. Uh, and it blew me away. Okay. So the notes are um, mm, oh green notes, bergamot, orange absolute, cardamom, and aldehyde. 
And then we have Rose Magnolia, Orchid, Pimento, Bay, Cinnamon, and Hedion again. And then at the base, Amber Green Musk, Vetiver, Labdanum, and Oud. This is such a cool fragrance. Yeah. Yeah. It's spicy, it's green, it's sweet, but not too sweet. There's just a ton of notes in there. You can almost smell them all. Yeah. But, and, uh, but in a way you can't. <laughs> and definitely I can pick up the oud. Yeah. Uh, but exactly the same reaction when I was in the store. The oud, you can clearly feel it, but there's nothing heavy or anything about no. it. So this is like, they managed to create the perfect sort of a oud with all these other sort of a magnificent yet as well prominent yeah. notes in it. I don't know which kind of wood they used in this one, uh, but um, like she said, I'm gonna link to uh, when I, to the video when I was at the store, uh, but like she described, they are using only higher quality ingredients. Yeah. And in some perfumes they are using the Cambodian wood, which is yeah. like one of the highest, if not the highest sort of a level of wood. Uh, so this is to me something that is really nice. It's not something that is done in a funky way or anything like no. that. Um, uh, yeah, this one blew me away when I sniffed it at the first time. What are you going to give it? Um, I'm not sure if it's an oud I would wear myself mm. uh, because I think this is more for men. Mm. Uh, there's surely some women who also can rock this. Um, but this is another eight. It's really mm. good. I think this is an exciting one because it blends so many different kinds of notes yeah. together with a, a, a very prominent oud. Um, this gets eight and a half for me at least. Next up we have Sarina. Here okay. you go. Uh, I did not try that one when I was in the store. So this is going to be exciting. So the top notes, Mandarin, Bergamot, Coriander and Cassis. And then we have Hedion again, Frisia, Jasmine, Sambac, Iris, Suede, and then at the base, and I, oh my, I love sandalwood. Sandalwood, cedar, vanilla, bean base, labdanum, and musk. So based on the notes, this is supposed to be, uh, yeah. is it as good as? Yes. This is, wow. Oh my. I'm so impressed by this house. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> this is... This is good. Yeah. Wow. Oh my. <laughs> I think we are going to be quite poor after yeah. this. <laughs> uh, I'm going to be broke. Uh, that, that's for sure. The, this, is, this is so nice. This and is the, stunning. I would yeah. love to have this one. And the cool thing is that all the three we have tried have all been very yeah. unique yeah. and very, very well made. Oh my, oh my, oh my, it's so good. <laughs> yeah. I love it. So, I mean, so, I love well-made sandalwood base, uh, but this one is like sandalwood together with a bunch of other notes taken to a higher level. It feels so well-made, high quality, and an absolutely stunning kind of scent. It is. Uh, so what are you going to give that one? So this is my favorite up until now. Uh, this gets a nine. Whoa. Yes. Um, yeah, I'm gonna be honest here. This is a perfect rebel. Wow. Uh, this is 10 out of 10. Next up we have Montabaco. Now this is the original. This is not Montabaco Intensivo. Okay. So they have two different Montabacos. Um, and I tried Montabaco Intensivo when I was in the store. Okay. So uh, we have Air Note. I'm not sure what that is. It sounds exciting. Mm. And then we have Orange Absolute, Bergamot, Juniper, Clary Sage, Cardamom, At the Heart, Magnolia, Hedion again, Rose, Violet, and Tea Note. And then, oh yeah, we have Tobacco Leaf, Isoe, Suede, Sandalwood, Moss, Tonka, Ambrugi. I'm loving it. Yes, this is elegant tobacco and leather. Mm. It's so good. So I love the Montebacco Intensivo when I was in the store and... Oh my. <laughs> yeah. I'm, Once again. I'm gonna be broke for sure. <laughs> uh, I love it. I mean, I fell in yeah. love with Montebacco Intensivo and here I am falling in love with this one as well. Um, this is like tobacco but 
really complex tobacco. Yeah, and and it's not super heavy in any way. It's warm, but at the same time, which is weird, it's airy and light. Yeah. It's not heavy. No, it's yeah. it's kind of minty fresh together mm -hmm. with the tobacco. Mm -hmm. uh, it it's probably not mint, but. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know what to say. I love it. Uh, what are you gonna give this one? I think um, all the fragrances are unisex. I learned that from the video. Uh, if you haven't seen the interview, go look at it. Uh, but I would prefer this on a man. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think it's a nine because it's really good. Mm -hmm. Okay. From my point of view, uh, there are there are a few tobacco, even though I believe that all scents are sort of unisex. Uh, usually uh, tobacco fragrances are kind of heavy in a way that I can't, at least to my nose, that I wouldn't enjoy them on a woman. Yeah. There are exceptions, uh, but this one to me is something completely unisex. This is something okay. I, bu I would think would be attractive on a woman for okay. sure. Uh, so, oh my, this has also, I gotta mention, this has something I don't know what it is, but there's something in some perfumes that really triggers something in my brain that just makes me addicted. This one makes me... So this is another 10. This is a perfect rebel. Uh, I love this one. And uh, yeah, my wallet is going to... Um, uh, I don't know. Next up, we have Black Gold. Okay. Uh, I don't know why, but I love the name. Yeah. And the notes are Bergamot, Lemon, Mandarin, Clary Sage, Juniper Berry. Then we have Orchids, Rose, Water Lilies. Jasmine, Carnation, Absolute, and then at the base, oh my, we have Oud, Skynus Mall. I don't know what that is. No. I never heard of it before. Sandalwood, Patchouli, Vetiver, La Vanilla, Labdanum, Moss, Musk, Cedar, and Brett Cedar, and Amber. It smells amazing yeah. from here. This actually smells like how I imagine that black gold is going to smell. Mm -hmm. I really enjoy it. Mm, and I think... I realize now that a lot of perfumes, including these, when they have oud in them, my nose is sort of drawn to the oud. Yes. So the oud sort of takes center stage really quickly. Yeah. Um, but what I do in, enjoy about this one, even though that the oud takes my uh, attention, grabs my attention straight away, you can really feel that sort of a citrusy top. Yeah. Uh, and you can feel how complex it is. And there's something else that reminds me of dried fruit notes. Mm -hmm. Together with the old, that's really nice. I like it. Uh, how do you? How are you going to rate it? Um, I think this is very good. It's very unique. Um, I'm not so fond of it. It's not my kind of mm. fragrance. But since it's a really good one, um, a six or a seven. Mm. Yeah. And. I think uh, I am going to sort of agree with you. I do find that this is a spectacular one. This yeah. is a magnificent creation, uh, but it's not for me. And I guess it's because I think the oud in this one sort of takes over in a way that I usually don't enjoy that much. Uh, but uh, so maybe six and a half or seven from me. Going from black gold to rose gold. Here you go. Okay. The notes are Sicilian lime, orange blossom, absolute. Bergamot and Clary Sage. Then we have Taif Absolute Carnation, Jasmine Absolute, Orchids and Water Lily again. And then we have Oud Absolute, Sandalwood Absolute, Labdanum Resinoid and Brett Absolute. And that this Skynos Mall again. If anyone has uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, any clue of what it is, uh, please do comment and let me know. Um, how do you find that one? This is a sharp flowery one. And not so heavy on the Oud. No. Yeah, yeah, you're correct. The the oud is is not the same as in the other one. No, this is the kind of flowers that I I'm usually not so into. So it's the same with this one. E even though I think it's a really good fragrance and well put together, mm. it's not my style. Mm. Uh, so what are you gonna give this one? Uh, I think a six. Mm. Okay, and. Once again, I love that it's. You can really feel how complex it is, uh, and I, I to my nose, there's something in it that reminds me of honey or honey-like. Ah, okay. So there's some something sweet. Yeah. And it almost feels like honey to me. Um, 
I like it, but again, this is not something that I perhaps would use that much on my own. So I think I'm gonna give this one a seven. And next up we have white gold. Here you okay. go. And the notes are leaf green molecule, pink pepper, mandarin, bergamot, and clarisase. Then we have jasmine absolute, carnation absolute, oris butter, orchids, and freesia. And then <gasps> Madagascar vanilla, umbreath absolute, <laughs> cashmere, and white musk, amber, moss, tonka, labdanum, opoponax, my favorite. Wow. Opoponax, <laughs> uh, vetiver, and cedarwood. Uh, a bunch of notes. Yeah. So again, a complex one. How do you find this one? So a there's no wood in this one. No. Uh a flowery and woody combination. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, you are correct in that one. And this one also had like moss, white musk, the abret, the Was cedar the wood, the vetiver. Um, yeah, jasmine, absolute. Yeah, you can really feel the jasmine. So once again, a cool one but I'm not sure it's uh, something for me. So how yeah. are you going to rate this floral beauty, the white gold? Um, as you said, it's a really good one and this smells great, but it's not my style. Mm. So six and a half. Six and a half. Yeah. Uh, this to me is a seven. It's well made and it's going to be perfect if you enjoy like florals with very ver and that's sort of a green touch to it yeah and that was the last one from the first box uh, and that concludes uh, the samples from the four corners of the earth collection uh, let's move on to the next one moving on to the second box and this one i think it says uh, part of the online collection and I could be wrong, but I think these are part of the signature collection. Okay. Uh, so let's move on to the first one, which is Champaka. Ah, I remember from the video that you mm, liked this one. Yeah, I yeah. really liked it. So uh, Champaka has... Um, oh no! We have no note for Champaka. Oh no! <laughs> there are no notes in Champaka in this so, one. That's weird. I think they made a... So maybe... Champaka is kind of secret. <laughs> yeah, it's a secret one. Uh, I really wow. enjoy Champaka, Champaka though. Yeah. I'm not sure what I'm smelling. Like flowers and some citrus and some fruits. But not so sweet. Just fresh and floral. Yeah. It's yeah. really That's beautiful. That's the same to me. So yeah. uh, like a citrusy floral. Yeah, uh, and quite light, but still nuanced. Yeah, and it has a bit of depth to it as well. So yeah. it's not just super light. No. Um, and I mean, yeah. it just gets better and better. Uh, the more it dries down, the more of all these different nuances in that sort of a complex uh, this scent is, you get. <laughs> I said this before, and I think I'm going to start calling these kinds of fragrances the hugging fragrances. Mm. This is the kind of fragrance that makes you want to hug the person wearing it. Mm. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I like that. I, I agree. This is so good. I, I mean, I want to hug the fragrances, so yeah. Yeah. Anyone has the fragrances, I want to hug, hug them. <laughs> Will they hug me back? It might look strange. Hmm. Oh my. This is so good. Mm. So what are you going to give Champaka from 1 to 10? Almost perfect. It's Whoa. a 9. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. Nice. And I have to agree. I mean, the more it dries down, the better it gets. Yeah. Uh, this is definitely a, a nine from me as well. Highly recommended. Uh, yes. Yeah, let's move on to the next one. Next up, we have Tiara. Okay. Uh, so this is going to be exciting. The notes are Mandarin, Orange Flower, Sicilian, Sicilian Lime. And then we have Tiara, Frisia, Water mm. Lilies, Jasmine, Orange, Yalang. And okay. then we have Cedar, Vetiver, Sandalwood, Patchouli, Musk, and Moss. Oh, I a got a whiff of yeah, it. A floral and green one, and I like it, although it contains vetiver. This is, this is cool. The whiff was quite in contrast with when I actually sniff it. Near, yeah, uh, I could feel that as well. So I'm not sure if you can get a whiff no, of it No, but I got, when I yeah. uh, was waving it around, I smelled it. So I like it. It's different. 
Mm, but it was way sort of more exciting to me when I got a whiff of it. So from distance, this yeah. is going to be an so attention maybe. grabber for sure. Yeah. Uh, but I'm not sure if I would enjoy it like I do now. Um, it gets better and better. Mm. Yeah, so I'm really curious about trying this one on. So this is like a green floral that I actually enjoy. And I'm not so into green, green or floral fragrances. Yeah, the more it dries down, as you said, the better it gets. And whatever sort of a sharpness that I got in the beginning have now sort of a gone yes. through just in a minute or two. Yeah. Uh, and even though I'm usually not the biggest fan of sort of a vetiver or vetiver based fragrances, yeah. this one is really approachable uh, and well made. It um, really is. So what are you going to give this one, Tiara? Um, this is once again one that is very good, but really not my style. Mm. Uh, but it's going to get a seven anyways, because mm, that's pretty I think good. it's very cool. And very well made for being a fragrance with vetiver. That is so hard. Yeah, this this is hard to describe, but when my nose sort of travels across this testing strip, uh, it really takes me on a on a trip. <laughs> I can really feel the citrus in the beginning, and then I get sort of the notes coming in, trickling in, trickling in one after the other, and it's so cool. I, I really enjoy it. I think it's well made. It's luxurious. Uh, a lot of people are going to love this one, uh, but it might not be something that I would enjoy fully on my skin. Uh, so it gets, I think your rating was along the sort of how I think about it. So seven from me as well. Uh, it's Tiara is a really nice one, but just not for me. Next up, we have Vanille de Iris. Uh, Vanilla and Iris, I'm thinking. Uh, yeah, and yeah. I probably butchered that name. <laughs> but uh, I mean, it, there's a D before the, the Iris, so it's like the Iris. I don't know how you pronounce it. Do you know? Vanilla and Iris. The Iris. Vanilla and Iris. The Iris. <laughs> the Iris. No. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, <laughs> probably. So yeah. sorry about that. Let's move that. on. Uh, so apologies for me butchering it. Um, so we have coriander seed, Sicilian bergamot, carrot seed and this Skyness Mulligan. Then we have Oris, Oris Absolute, Jasmine Absolute, and Magnolia Osmanthus, Vanilla, Tahi, Tahitian Vanilla Bud. No, Tahitian Vanilla Bud. Oh. Cedarwood, Vetiver, Amber and Musk. So exciting notes. Yes. Um, and very different. And you said the name was something Iris, but there's no Iris in it. No, but there's it, iris. But it has something that smells like iris. Because you didn't uh, read iris. No, I did not read iris. But maybe this is one of the notes that, you know, they use other notes instead of the one that everyone else is using. Mm, it feels, I get, it's, it's, it's weird, like, but I do pick up something yeah. that if you would have said, told me that this is, here, smell it. I would say, okay, I can pick out the iris. Yeah. And... I actually think this is uh, reminds me of one iris fragrance from Atelier Cologne, mm -hmm. and that's why I think it smells like iris because that's an iris heavy fragrance. I think this is cool. Yeah. And this is something that, uh, along with a lot of the others that we have tried, uh, that I think is beautiful, but also where I think that a lot of people, like the majority of the people that are going to get a whiff of this from you are going to enjoy it and think yeah, that you smell magnificent. Yes. Uh, how are you going to rate Vanille de Iris? Seven and a half or eight. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So good. Good, but, but not, not the your perfect favorite. one. No. no. I think there's something cool about this one. So eight and a half from me. Okay. I really enjoy this one. This one is a cool take on uh, vanilla and all the different notes in it. Uh, highly recommended. Uh, wow. Next up we have Oris Noir. Okay. Exciting name. And yeah. here we have Davana, Pink Pepper, Coriander Seed and Bergamot. Then we have Iris, Sambac Absolute, Pimento Berries, Bay. And then we have Incense, Myrrh, Patchouli, Chinese Cedar. Wow. Okay. Uh, and Gaiac. So this is going to be interesting. Like a woody... Incense. 
Yes, and and uh, aromatic, I guess. And it really is like all those spicy. three things. Mm. And um, we are both <clears throat> we are both kind of uh, sensitive to incense. Yeah, but. No, yeah, I think, I think the, I the, in my, uh, the thing is that a lot of people enjoy incense. Uh, I'm not sort of uh, sensitive to it, but I don't enjoy some types of incense, like those that are super, super heavy on the incense, in uh, sort of a hard to describe, but like an old, old kind of way. Uh, but I do have a few mm. uh, perfumes with incense in them, but where the incense is beautifully balanced against the other notes, so it's not like a super incense heavy one. Now uh, I get what this. Um, now I get what this reminds me of. It reminds me of the streets of Bali in Indonesia. Mm -hmm. They have a lot of incense, and this smells like that. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. And I could buy this just to get that nostalgic feeling. And the thing is, when this had dried down, that initial initial kind of incensey heavy. It wasn't super heavy, but it was a bit too heavy against the other notes. That has sort of a mellowed down, and now it's just exciting yeah. and nice. So this is exciting in a way that I believe that if I would put it on uh, and go out, uh, people will look at me in a sort of a curious way. Uh, it triggers curiosity. There's something yeah. exciting and mysterious about it, and I love it. How are you going to rate um, Oris Noir? This gets... Uh Eight. Eight? Yeah. Ah, okay. And I think I am <clears throat> going to agree with you. Uh, I'm surprised because I usually usually I'm not too fond of incense um, fragrances, but, uh, perfumes, but this one was a really nice one. Next up we have Ormond Woman and this is this was created way back in 2003. Uh, and like uh, Linda mentioned in uh, the video when I was there, that wow. this one uh, still keeps on being one of their absolute best sellers. Yeah, <clears throat> and I get why this is wonderful. Let mm. me try. <laughs> so did you read the notes? No, no I was so... I was so excited. <laughs> yeah. I, I just wanted to try it like a kid, you were just a kid on Christmas stressing Eve. stressing me out. <laughs> mm. Okay, really so, nice. so the notes are cardamom, coriander, grass soil, and then we have black hemlock. Yeah, this is the one she mentioned yeah, hemlock. Yeah. Uh, violet, jasmine, absolute, absolute, vetiver, cedarwood, amber, and sandalwood. Yes. This and is I understand good. why this is like a classic because it smells fantastic. It does. It, it smells timeless. Yeah. Uh, and something that I, I can't imagine anyone not liking this one. No. Mm, really nice, really nice. And I think this is uh, what I think, the first one of the things I thought when I smelled this was that it's so perfect for every kind of situation. Yes. And it almost becomes what you make it to be. So for example, you could put it on dressed up and go to like a formal event and it's gonna smell like posh, magnificent, extraordinary or something. Yeah. Or you could put on a sexy red dress and this is going to be a shape shifter and it's going to make, just make you smell sexy. Yes. That's how I feel about it. Or but, you could put it on to work in a really nice sort of a formal kind of um, wear dress uh, and you are going to smell just perfectly amazing. Yes. And so no this is like a chameleon. The... You can use it anytime for any situation and you it's going to sort of a it's going to change according to your mood and how you want to project yourself. Yeah, and I would say that no matter the situation or what you are wearing it with or where you are wearing it, this is one of those inviting fragrances. Mm, that's yeah, a good word, yeah. It's very classy and exclusive, but it's very, very friendly. Mm, yeah. I agree. So what are you going to give this beauty from one to ten? Eight and a half or nine. Mm. Yeah. And I am going to say that I think this is a solid nine. Uh, I don't think you can go wrong. I mean, you cannot go wrong with this one. And next up, we have Armand Man. Okay, exciting. And, and I don't think I tried this one when I was in this store, so this is going to be exciting. Yeah, and if it's half as good as the woman's, mm. it's going to be good. 
Oh, sorry. I, yeah. I, I'm so excited. I just want to like try it, so Can I forget about the notes. Can you just do your job? <laughs> uh, juniper, uh, berry, bergamot, pink pepper, cardamom, coriander seeds. Then we have oud, black hemlock again, uh, vetiver, cedar, sandalwood, and musk. And this is really a male version of mm. our man woman. Wow, this is like trippy. Uh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> this is... I don't think I ever smelled anything like this. This yeah. is... This is... Uh, this is... I don't know. I don't even know how to describe it. It's so... So what are we getting here? I, I do pick up some of the oud. Yeah. I'm not familiar, that familiar with black or, or hemlock. No. Until I came upon Armand Jane. Uh, and then we have the mix, mix of vetiver, cedar, sandalwood, and musk. Yeah. Um, this is this took me by surprise. I, I kind of like this it. This is kind but... of green, woody, somehow floral, but but not so much. Yeah, you're right. Woody, uh, a bit green, uh, and it's uh, it's a bit easier to differentiate the different notes. One now that it has sort of uh, set a little bit. Yeah. Um, so what are you going to give Ormond Jane from 1 to 10? Sorry, Ormond Jane, Ormond <laughs> Man uh, from 1 to Ormond 10. Ormond Jane gets a 10, but Ormond Man gets... I think it's really nice. Uh, eight and a half or nine Whoa. for this one as well. Yes, a very, Whoa. I would say, unique but not unique fragrance for men. Yeah, I agree that this is this is... 100% unique. I think I don't I have ever I have never put my nose to anything like this before and I think it's a good one, but uh, But I think it's unique, there's something about but, it that sorry. Oh, sorry. No, sorry. I interrupted no, you. you. I think it's unique, but still it feels very like familiar. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So that's very strange, I guess <laughs> mm. I, I don't mean familiar like I've smelled it before but like something that there's I something. recognize. Ah. There's something like, wow, this is how a man should smell. Wow. Um, I like it, but I don't, to me, it's not something that I maybe would wear, but I mean, that could change once I wear it and I am going to wear these later on, uh, but I'm going to give it an eight. Uh, yeah. I, th I still think it's a, a truly unique one. And this one is from, 2004 so it was created one year after Oman okay. Woman. Uh, really nice let's move on to the final one last but not least we have Zizan. Okay. Uh, cool name. Cool name yeah. Uh, and this one was created in 2008 and it's Sicil Sicilian lime, lemon, bergamot, clary sage, pink, pe pink pepper, juniper berries. Uh, then we have bay, violet, jasmine and at the base vetiver, cedar, musk and amber. Yeah and this Smells like those little bags that you put in your clo your closet together with clothes or. Oh, you mean uh, like the, the cedar linen. blocks? No, uh, like the small bags with lavender that uh -huh. you put with your clothes or uh -huh. with your uh, bed sheets in this the closet. This was nice. Yes. This was nice. Mm, now it got better. No, it's so much more than those lavender bags. <laughs> yeah, 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 this this ain't no lavender no. bag. No. Um, wow, this, this is was cool. cool, yeah. Oh my, this is so good. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so how many are we up to now that you need to buy? I think this was like the fifth or the sixth. I love this one. I can't stop sniffing it. Mm, so good. So what are you going to give this one? I think this is beautiful. Yeah. Eight, and it's growing on me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm, no, this is this to me is something really nice. I think this is nine or nine and a half. Okay. Uh, I think this is a stunning one. This is definitely something that is going to uh, grab people's attention. I mean, imagine you walk past someone and you get a whiff of that one. You're going to be like, whoa, what's going on? Yeah. Um, I love this one. So we went back to all these samples and tried them on our skin as well. So we got a mix of skin and paper experience as well as uh, experiencing the opening and the dry down. And I think that our score, based on our discussion, 
that we feel that our initial scores were sort of a uh, correct. Yeah. Uh, we didn't feel that uh, we did ha we had to do major changes to the scores. But with that said, uh, the Oris Noir, both of us was like, wow, the yeah. dry down is so much better than the initial impression we had from the opening. Yeah. So that one is definitely something that we think that we wanted to Im Im improve our rating on. Uh, but our three top ones, which we gave the highest score was... It was Champaka Oof. together with Sarina. Sarina. And Montabaco. Yeah, Montabaco. Yeah. Those my. were all great. Uh, so if you are going to summarize your experience of Armand Jane and these perfumes that we tried out, uh, how what's your impression? How do you feel? What are you gonna what do you want to give to those who are watching? Um, I am so impressed by Armand Jane. Yeah. I think this is high quality fragrances that are really unique and with so much personality in each of the fragrances. Yeah. Um, I will probably buy some of these mm. in the future. This was good. Mm. I'm impressed. Uh, yeah, I think uh, like high quality definitely. Uh, the complexity of these are is just on another level. So when uh, they list a bunch of notes, those notes are in them and they mix in a beautiful way. Yeah. Um, and the scents themselves are just stunning. I mean, usually when we do these first impressions, uh, there are like 50-50 uh, that we enjoy or sometimes even less. Yeah. Like maybe, if, let's say we try 10 different uh, perfumes we find one or two that we both are really ecstatic about. Yeah. But uh, I don't think we ever had so many uh, perfumes that we both were really blown away by. I really encourage you, if you love high quality perfumes and if you want something that not a lot of other people out on town are going to have on and if you want like a truly a beautiful kind of uh, scent experience to try out um, Armand Jane for yourself. Uh, and since they are quite pricey, uh, I think that you should start out with one of their uh, discovery sets just so you can experience um, them on your own, in your own pace, so you don't have to feel that you need to make a decision when you're in the no. store or something. <clears throat> and please do check out um, uh, Linda Pilkington's advice on how to try a perfume in the proper sort of proper way. I yeah. love that ad advice that she gave in uh, when I visited the store. So make sure you check that one out. Uh, and yeah, I think this was an, a, a truly fantastic experience. I loved being in the store and I loved these perfumes and I can highly recommend them to you. And you, I guess, feel the same way, right? Yes, and I couldn't recommend a specific fragrance to anyone. You really need to experience yeah. these and yeah. it's just a matter of what you, what you love. Yeah. And you will find something in this collection. Definitely, yeah. Um, so yeah, that was it for this, uh, this first impression. Thank you for coming over. Thank you. Make sure you check out uh, Ormond Jane. Make sure you smash that like if you enjoyed this video. Make sure you hit that subscribe and that notification bell ding ding. And then head on over to Sandra Salmon Fragrance. Do the same and make sure you say hello to her. Drop a nice little comment. Uh, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.